वेलकम बैक टू हाफ टाइम रिपोर्ट वेल इन आर स्पेशल सेगमेंट वैल्यू एड मंगलम टुडे इज लुकिंग एट एच यू एल मंगलम वॉट्स आप विद एच यू एल Uh, the stock itself is up <laughs> <laughs> right now. You know, the thing is that it had fallen about four percent on Friday's trading session, and the reason why it that happened was because the street was worried about uh, the company or the negatively surprised by the company increasing their royalty from two point six five percent to three point four five percent. But from those lows, the stock has recovered, and the question we're asking on HUL is that is the street actually looking beyond the royalty impact? Because the internals and the numbers were good. The, third quarter performance was nice the commentary the company said that raw material and demand environment is gradually improving volume led growth will return going forward so these factors should improve their fundamentals and secondly while hul's royalty has increased by 80 basis points if you just compare it with the peers you know we have nestle and colgate they are at 4.5% of sales and this is as per their uh, last years and uh, you know royalty as a percentage of sales so if you compare hul's royalty of uh, 3.45% versus peers it is higher uh, than png but of course it is much lower than other larger players like nestle and colgate itself so is the street willing to give them that uh, uh, you know benefit after the initial decline that we saw because we do have near term triggers for hul as well the first one of course is the near term demand uh, improvement and margin improvement second one they've made a lot of acquisitions oziva being the latest one as well so scaling those acquisitions up seeing uh, holix grow further is something that we'll be watching out for there is an imminent leadership announcement uh, as well which is likely because sanjeev mehta of course terms end in uh, october itself so before that if there is a new leadership announcement that comes by we'll have to watch out for that and now everyone's talking about the valuation decline that we are seeing in the d2c universe so is there any more mna opportunity coming in from the d2c universe itself is uh, the big question so can the street now look beyond the initial decline of uh, the royalty and look ahead at the positive triggers is something that uh, Uh, we'll <laughs> throw some value on maybe perhaps okay all right so that's about hul by the way there's some fall for the markets from the top so the nifty is up around 77 points when we started the show it was up around 110 so watching out for the moves on the markets right now but for now we'll step into a short break more on markets on the other side of this very short break